So good morning, Stuart. Again, good morning. thank you. So again, this video is a kind of educational video about other patients that might have your same chronic pain condition, and just kind of talk to them about what we're able to do for you here at the Washington Pain Center and our spinal stimulation. So let me set the table. So you came to me how long ago? About three months ago. Three months. And again, you've had chronic abdominal pain for how long? Yes. Uh... Really, since my early 20s, I've had irritable bowel syndrome. And round figures, how old are you now? I'm 53. Okay, so about 30, 25 yes. years at least. Okay. Yes. And obviously with IBS, you've went to the GI you know, people and you've had you know, treatments, and you still have the chronic abdominal pain. Yeah, I mean, uh, being, uh, I really researched it through the years, and I tried everything. Western and, and Eastern medicine. And actually, like you, you actually did a lot of work with NIH and things like that as a researcher. Yes. Right. I, I'm very familiar with the technology because that's part of what I do for a living. Right. So you came, so we actually started three months ago this conversation about spinal stimulation with for people with chronic pain that nothing else has worked. Exactly. And we just did the trial and you had it implanted. You had the trial placed for a couple, of, a couple of days, like a week or a little bit more than a week. That's right. So how did you find the experience? Uh, it was dramatic. I mean, as soon as I left the day of the implant, when it was turned on, I started to monitor carefully, you know, because I'm looking for an absence of symptoms. And each day I did have about one episode of moderate IBS pain. It would last 15 to 20 minutes. And then that was that. And at, by the end of the week, counting up those episodes, I mean, in a typical day, I would have 10 or 15 of those episodes, and they would often last for, you know, sometimes two or three hours. So it was a dramatic difference. I, I was impressed. I didn't know spinal cord stimulation can work for visceral abdominal pain, and every indication is that this is a big success for me, and it's... Uh, it's, I'm still getting used to this idea that that pain won't be there anymore. And the stimulation, obviously, outside the absence of pain, did it feel like anything to no, you? No, you don't feel anything. In fact, you know, I could go up and down a little bit on the stimulator, and uh, seven was my number. Eight I would use when it was, I would get that, uh, you know, episode. But the stimulation wasn't uncomfortable. No, there. and then when I went to nine, I would feel a little bit of pressure, so I knew exactly where my sweet spot was and uh, during the day when I'm had it set at seven or eight I never felt anything. Oh, how about that? Now overall, so percent better for this 25 years of pain was how much? Uh, I mean right now it's one week and I can uh, very honestly say it's at least 80 percent oh. benefit. It's probably going to be more. Right. And in terms of in the past, did you ever try opiates or things like that or did you ever not start um, that? I never got as far as opiates. Right. But I tried everything else, right. and I'm really glad I here seeing you as a pain specialist. I was not. Uh, I was hoping it wasn't going to go to opiates. So this is a breakthrough for me. Right. So people, if you're you know in closing, you know if people had chronic belly pain, what would you tell them? You know, I would give tell them. Experience. Right now, today, I I finished the one week trial. I didn't get a permanent implant yet. I'm going to, but. Um, the trial period was uh, not very traumatic, and you know, if you have complaining of years and years of pain, you certainly should try this. I, as a um, as a life science specialist, uh, I know the proposed mechanism of action, and I, it it really makes sense. This That's is some, this is really about science right. and and physiology. Excellent. Well, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Okay.